This is a crochet tutorial for a corner to corner baby blanket. The link to the free pattern is in the description of this video. I use self striping yarn by West Yorkshire Spinners Color Lab in double knit. Of course you can use any yarn you like. It just so happens that this is 100% natural wool and is reared, sheared and spun here in the UK. The nice thing about self striping yarn and the corner to corner method is that you can make your baby blanket without worrying about gauge or changing colors. This self striping range is available in summer pinks, frosty blues, technicolor and prism bright. The crochet pattern is in US terms. You need a pair of scissors, crochet hook and yarn. The crochet hook that I use is five millimeters or size H. I use approximately five balls of double knit wool of 100 grams each for a standard baby blanket. We start off with a slip knot. I prefer to make my slip knot as if I'm making a magic circle. For an in-depth look at how to make a slip knot, I've included a video link in the description. Make six chains. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Then we skip the first three chains from the hook. We work a double crochet stitch on the fourth chain. And then we work a double crochet stitch on the fifth chain and a third double crochet stitch on the sixth and final chain. This is the basic block for the corner to corner method. We have three chains followed by three double crochet stitches. Return your work and then make six chains. One, two, three, four, five, and six, like the first time. And then we skip three chains and work double crochet stitches on chain number four, five, and six. So here's our first double crochet stitch. Our second double crochet stitch on the fifth chain. And a third crochet stitch on the sixth chain. We have two blocks. Look for the chain three space of the first block, insert your hook and make a slip stitch. Then chain three, one, two, three. Work three double crochet stitches on the same chain three space. So our first double crochet, our second double crochet, and our third double crochet. Now we have three blocks. Turn your work. You can start to see why we call this corner to corner. We always start off with chain six to start off a row. And then we skip three chains and work double crochet stitches on the last three chains. So here's our first double crochet. Our second double crochet and our third double crochet. So we have four blocks. Look for the chain three space of the previous block. Insert your hook, slip stitch, chain three. One, two, three. 
and then we work three double crochet stitches in the same chain three space. Here's our second double crochet and our third double crochet, which makes five blocks. You can start to see how these blocks fit together with the slip stitch. Look for the chain three space of the block closest, insert your hook, make a slip stitch, and then chain three. Work three double crochet stitches in the same chain three space. We now have six blocks. We have three blocks along this side and three along the other side as well. Turn your work and since we're starting another row we're going to chain six again and then we're going to skip three chains and work double crochet stitches in the last three chains. So we now have seven blocks. Look for a chain three space of the previous block Insert your hook, slip stitch, chain three. Work three double crochet stitches in the same chain three space. We now have eight blocks. Look for the chain three space of the closest block and insert your hook, slip stitch, chain three. Then we work three double crochet stitches in the same chain three space. And this is block number nine. Then we look for the next chain three space. Insert your hook, slip stitch, chain three. Work three double crochet stitches in the same chain three space. Which brings us to 10 blocks. As you can see, each row is actually along the diagonal, and this is why it's called the corner to corner method. We have four blocks along this side and four blocks along the other side as well. At this point, we've been increasing the number of blocks for each row. Now I'm going to show you what to do once we've reached the number of blocks we need for our baby blanket. Say we want to keep the height of this sample to six blocks. Return your work Instead of making six chains, we need to slip stitch four times. The first three slip stitches is at the top of the three double crochet stitches. So here's our first one. Here's our second slip stitch. And our third slip stitch. And then we slip stitch into the chain three space. Chain three. And then we work three double crochet stitches in the same chain three space. And then we look for the chain three space of the closest block. Insert your hook, slip stitch, chain three. Work three double crochet stitches in the same chain three space. Now 
we keep adding blocks until the end of the row. So this is block number three. And then we start with block number four. Block number five. And then here we're starting with block number six. And we're talking about the number of blocks for this particular row. Sip stitch in the chain three space. And then we're going to chain three, one, two, three, work three double crochet stitches in the same chain three space, which makes six blocks for this row. So at this point, we've kept the height to six blocks and increased the width by one block. If you want to keep increasing along this side of the sample, or let's say the width of a baby blanket, we continue increasing the blocks by starting off with the chain six and then working double crochet stitches in the last three chains. At this point, we've increased the width by two blocks. But let's say we want to increase the width only by one block, which already has been done. So we take this uh, second addition out and then we start off with four slip stitches along the previous block as before, instead of the chain six start. So on top of this particular block. Okay. Of course, if we want to keep the width of our baby blanket to just six blocks, we don't make the final block as in the first part of this video. We still need to attach the previous block with a slip stitch. Turn your work and then slip stitch at the top of the three double crochet stitches of this previous block. So first slip stitch, second, third, and then the fourth one would be at the top of the chain three space. And then work three double crochet stitches in the same chain three space. Then we look for the chain three space of the closest block. Insert your hook, slip stitch, chain three, and then work three double crochet stitches in the same chain three space. We keep adding blocks until the end of the row. Take note that you need to remember where to stop adding blocks, depending on how big you want your baby blanket to be. A row of straight blocks will be your signal that you need to stop making more blocks and simply use a slip stitch to attach the block you're working on to the closest edge. For example, this one. So slip stitch, that's the last edge right there. So for this sample, the height of our sample is six blocks and the width is also six blocks. We're going to finish this sample for this video tutorial. Turn your work and then slip stitch at the top of the three double crochet stitches of the previous block. Here's our first slip stitch, second and third. And our fourth slip stitch is at the chain three space. And then we're going to chain three and work three double crochet stitches at the same chain three space. And then we're going to slip stitch at the chain three space closest. Chain three, work three double crochet stitches in the same chain three space. 
Do the same. Keep adding blocks until you get to the edge of your blanket. And then you finish this row with a slip stitch closest to the edge. At this point, we're going to need two more rows to finish the sample. The second to the last row will need two blocks. And the last row is going to need one block. Turn your work and then slip stitch at the top of the three double crochet stitches of the previous block. And then slip stitch in the chain three space, chain three, work three double crochet stitches, slip stitch in the next chain three space, chain three, three double crochet stitches in the same space, and then close that off with a slip stitch at the edge of your block. And then turn your work work three slip stitches at the top of the double crochet stitches another slip stitch at the chain three space chain three three double crochet stitches in the chain three space and this is the last block for our sample There you have it. Our sample has six blocks along its width and six blocks along its height. Here I have a baby blanket using the Technicolor of the Color Lab range. At this point, I have reached the desired width of my baby blanket, which means I want to keep the number of blocks the same along the width. The citrusy yellow end of my blanket is where we continue. I turn my work and I'm going to slip stitch four times, three times at the top of the double crochet stitches of the last block. And a final slip stitch in the chain three space and I'm going to chain three and then work three double crochet stitches in the same space. Then I'm gonna slip stitch in the chain three space of the closest block and I'm going to keep adding blocks until the end of this row. I will probably need to keep adding blocks along its length since my baby blanket will be 30 inches along its width and 40 inches along its height. Thanks for watching. See you next time.